It is my absolute pleasure to welcome on stage an international mountaineer representing India on a global platform on a mission seven summits, scaling the highest peak of every continent with a theme on strengthening ties of India with other nations through this very unique, extreme adventure sports. She has achieved great heights of scaling Mount Everest, highest peaks of Europe, Africa, Oceania, Australia. And before I invite her on stage, I want to show you a quick glimpse of what her life looks like. Let's watch. Ladies and gentlemen, India's gritty girl is in the house. Please put your hands together for Nandita Nagangudar. Very good evening, namaste. Firstly, I would like to express my gratitude to Economic Times and Femina for providing me with this very esteemed platform. Thank you so much. Well, uh, how many of you like sports? <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows, right? Uh, 
Yes, it's not just in the nation, but it's around the globe. People love sports, may it be anything. It's, it's tennis, it's, it's cricket, it's football, Formula One. And, but when I talk about mountaineering, I believe it's one step ahead. <laughs> Due respect to all the sports, but mountaineering is something, it's, it's very challenging. <laughs> I'm an engineer myself, uh, never understood a lot of technical things while studies, but while climbing, we have to be technically very, very skilled. Uh, the extreme, extreme freezing temperature, minus 30, minus 40 and beyond, and your shoes is very heavy, it's like two kilos each. You're carrying a backpack of about 25 to 30 kilos, and you know, uh, when the wind hits, you know, you get all those cuts, the skin is tanned, but when you're crossing, you're, you're carrying your oxygen cylinders, which get stolen most of the times at the higher camps. But you know, when you're facing all these challenges and crossing all these odds, uh, when you unfurl the Indian national flag on the highest peaks of the world, I fall in short of words to express what it feels like. So always a pride to represent India. And I'm not just representing India. Uh, we have uh, build, we are building ties, we are strengthening ties of India with other nations through this very unique extreme adventure sports. I also happen to represent ASEAN. It's uh, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, wherein uh, the ambassadors, uh, Indian ambassador and the ambassadors of 11 nations they hand over the Indian flag and the ASEAN flag, and they give us that sense of responsibility to take it on the highest peaks of the world. <laughs> Today we are here talking about parity. Mountains never question us whether you're a male or a female or you know, who is allowed to come here. We all need to know those, you know, we all have to possess those the skills, the knowledge, uh, immediately, you know, how, how to act, how, how when the situation gets very cold, there can be avalanche threat. A lot of people even question me, you know, you, what's your height, you know, your weight, how do you manage to do this? But it's, it's not always about your physical appearance, it's how mentally strong you are. And uh, because uh, you're far away from your family, you're aloof, the mode of communication is very remote. You're constantly communicating, trying to communicate through base camp or through satellite phones. The minute my mother used to get a phone call, uh, she used to think like, okay, they've survived today. So <laughs> it's not just about me. I believe uh, it's mothers like her, my wonderful, beautiful mother who is here. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, it's their strength, it's her prayers that keep me alive, it keeps me alive. And uh, when we were on the Everest, you know, we, it's mandatory every year for um, Army, Navy, or Air Force, one of the team has to be there. And when I met the Army officials, uh, we ha used to have this interaction, and a lot of them, you know, were... Uh, at, they were posted in Siachen, and it's like, oh, we're so used to this, this kind of a weather, you know, minus 40. It's like, trust me, I'm feeling cold here today. <laughs> it's only when we, you know, get acclimatized to that, we, we are okay in that situation. So uh, when we had an interaction with the army team, uh, they, it's, it's amazing the way they protect the nation, you know, being at the borders, surviving, withstanding those extreme temperatures. So maybe not like them, but in my own little way, I try to do a bit. And it's, it's always a pride to do something you know, for India, for your society. So scaled uh, Mount Everest, South Coal, it's, we are on a mission. It's called as Seven Summits, scaling the highest peak of every continent. Uh, so, so far scaled uh, Everest, Mount Everest, Oceania, Australia, uh, Europe, and the highest peak of Africa. Uh, hats off to all those you know, mothers, those women who send their, their children to the army, navy, films, media, uh, who let them you know, do whatever they want. But I believe when we talk about men and women, the equality, usually when it's, a, it's in the month of March, you know, we talk a lot, of, a lot about women empowerment, empowering women, and a lot of things. It's, it's great, it's great to celebrate womanhood. 
But I think women herself, she's at immense strength. She's a Shakti. And a woman who is such a strength, who goes through that immense amount of pain while delivering a child, you know, she takes that pain which is beyond her capacity just to bring that beautiful life into this world. I think she's an amazing strength. And uh, even Lord Shiv, you know, Lord Shiv is complete with Shakti. And that is how we worship them as Shiv Shakti. So in our scriptures, we come across this, uh, we come across this very beautiful line which says, Jagale tu ye smriti, kyunki tu hi hai Shiv Shakti. So it's always about invoking those energies. May it be a man, woman. It's always about, you know, we are all just energies. It's always about invoking that fire, that strength, that energy within. You know, so a lot of times we say, you know, we're not in a proper frame of mind. A lot of times we tend to hold others responsible for not doing any particular task. But no, it's, it's always in our mind. You know what you have to do. And our mind is only in our control. So it's about how strong you are. You know, you, you never got to blame anybody for what you do. You, you have to take your own responsibility. It was not easy for, any, uh, for me to convince my mother uh, she said, no, you're not going to do any of this, you know, completing your graduation, completing a master's. You, is this what you is this the reason why you have studied? It's like, no, it's, it's, it's something I believe in. I believe in what I can do. So, uh, so for me, it's a matter of pride to represent India. So we have to be very strong within. We have to be confident. We have to have the clarity. When you know what you want to do, just, just stick to it. Because every now and then, if we keep changing our, our route, you know, the, the chances of you reaching your destination is very remote. So have that belief in yourself. Have that confidence in yourself. You know, they say, when do you want to look beautiful, then look into the mirror. You know, it will only show your state of mind. So always keep yourself in a proper state of mind. Be mentally very strong. Physically, yes, it's important that you maintain your fitness. But you got to be mentally very strong, not just when it's related to sports. May it be anything. It's your business, your, your personal life, your professional life. Always keep yourself in a very, very proper state of mind. Never react immediately. You know, uh, just, just that will help you, you know, that will help you, that will make your way much more easier. So, yes, um, as I said, it's, it's always uh, pride to represent India. So, it's just, just believe in yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much.